Hello and welcome to our program Where God Weeps, a program where we speak about the situation of the suffering and persecuted church around the world. The Maronite Congregation of St. Therese of Jesus works all over the region of the Middle East. Their charism includes working with young people among many other ministries. And today is my privilege to welcome Sister Micheline Mansour, General Counselor of the Congregation. Sister, welcome to our program. Thank you. Sister, you are originally from Lebanon. Yes. And you belong to the Maronite. Yes, right. and proud. <laughs> Very be. proud of it. Yeah. And of course, being from Lebanon, that is, that is quite common. Yeah, thank uh, you. What about your congregation? Sister, what is the charism? We are uh, the Maronite sisters of St. Therese, of uh, little Jesus, baby Jesus. Our charisma is uh, to have a spirit of St. Therese, to be a witness and to, be, to serve um, the, the passion, uh, the, um, uh, the youth, and in schools, in hospitals, and all mankind, to serve them. And you particularly are uh, dedicated to work with young people. Yes. Thanks God. This is a <laughs> grace for me, yes. You think so, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it could be quite a challenge. Hey, it's okay. I'm ready to, <laughs> I'm ready to, to be a witness for, to ho the hope, the witness of hope and, uh, and joy with young. Yes, this is my charisma. And uh, you work not only in um, Lebanon, but in the whole uh, Middle East territory. Yeah, we try, we try. And um, do you see common problems, challenge and difficulties that young people face in, in these countries or, or the realities are significantly different? First of all, I'm working in the office of young in the Maronite, Patriarch Maronite. Uh, and uh, we try to translate all manual of UCAT Foundation and we send it to all uh, Arabic word. That is, uh, it's um, a new tools for mission in the church now. Uh, that's why we can know the challenges of uh, our uh, young. There is in each country, in Arabic country, there is many, many problems. But the common problem is the, the war and the bad situation, economical situation, if we can say it, all around the world, Arabic work. This is a common uh, challenge for youth, if you want. Uh, Do you consider that, that um, war is, is a, a threat for, for young people in all these countries? Yeah, the war is uh, the bad thing in the world. Uh, why we don't, don't live in peace? There is many things on this earth to all mankind. Why? Why, why war? I don't understand. Now, you, you live in a very, very um, uh, conflicted uh, area, and yeah. it's Lebanon and, and with Israel and neighbor with Syria. Yeah. Um, for instance, young people in Palestine, yeah. what are their main problems? What are their main difficulties? I was for five years uh, in mission in Israel and in Palestine. Um, they have many problems, not like in Arab world, but the common, if you want, problem for youth and Christian youth is they, they, they are uh, not respected. They are all time humiliated, if you want. And they don't have uh, 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 identity. 
They don't want to be Israelian. They can't be Palestinian. That's why they are a racist, Maronite racist, or Catholic racist, or Muslim racist, because they want identity. And they can't be Israelian, and they can't be Palestinian. The Palestinian one, they don't accept they, they are Palestinian. Because they are Christians. Because they are in Israel, Arab in Israel. That's why they are rejected from the Palestinian, if you want. And that's why they are humiliated all time. And I was with them, with youth, uh, to give them some hope, some joy with Jesus. This is our uh, refugee, if we can say. How, how do you utilize, how do you work with um, UCAT and with DUCAT, uh, with uh, people in these countries? Uh, first of all, in Lebanon, I, uh, I give some courses in, uh, in university about DUCAT. It is uh, uh, about uh, a social catechism of our uh, church, Catholic so what, Church. So let's start with that, Sister. What is the Dukat? Because we're familiar <laughs> with the with yes. the with the term, but probably and our audience they don't know what it is. Dukat. Yeah, a cat is catechism. Always this is abbreviation, and you cat is youth catechism of our uh, Catholic Church. Do cat what we do. This is a dogma, a uh, Catholic uh, social dogma about uh, questions, about uh, life, about uh, our uh, young. How to live, this is what to do. What to do, what to do, how to live, how to solve our problems, social problems with family, with relationships, uh, ship, sorry, <laughs> and uh, all, all, all um, uh, problems, social problems, this is. So, first, I, I give some courses in the university for two years about Ducat. Then, uh, each meeting, every meeting with youth, I, uti I uh, use, I use Ducat and Ducat about family, about uh, um, uh, social, social, social relations, social problems. We, we see what uh, our Catholic Church uh, say about this problem, how our Catholic Church respond to their problems, their questions, this is. And we send it. When we translate it uh, in the, to the Arabic, in Arabic Foundation, UCAT Arabic Foundation, we send it to all uh, Arabic countries to uh, and uh, if we have uh, uh, any country is denied to send uh, Christian books. Like that would be the case in uh, Saudi Arabia. For example, we create an application, uh, Dukat Arabic application on your, their phones. Very clever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this way you don't, you don't have you know, to deal with... Uh, yeah, and, and you know, um, the youth, they don't like uh, any more uh, books. This is very simple to have it on your phone, in Arabic, in your language, if you don't know in English or in French. And we know how much our young people love their phones and their applications, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Sister, growing up in, in Lebanon, um, you were probably right in the middle of, of the uh, civil war. Yeah, uh, exactly. You, you grew up in, in, in very violent times, probably. Yes. Now, as a consecrated Christian woman in, in the Middle East and specifically in Lebanon, how do you feel? What, what are your, your, your challenges, your, your difficulties? I want to tell you that uh, in my family, we live some forgiveness because my father was kidnapping by the Muslims or Druze, you can, uh, if, you, if you know. And then in, as a family, we live this forgiveness and we grow up with them. That's why uh, we need to, to live with them. We need to, to be open with them, to forgive them. And uh, it's okay, we're living. We're in peace together, Muslim, cr Christian, and uh, when we were uh, a young, me, uh, uh, even child, we, we were on the same table on the school. We, we don't know he, he is Christian, he is Muslim. After, in the war, 
we recognize we are different. We live together. But the politician, I'm sorry, they, are, they, they give us this spirit of hate. And I don't like it. And um, this is my challenge for me. My challenge is to put a peace and hope and forgiveness as we like it, uh, I, as we leave it in, uh, in my family. Yes. Sister, I'm talking now about your other family, now your, your, your sisters yeah. at the congregation. Yeah. You are dedicated to the work with young people, yeah. but some other sisters work with um, sick people, say, yes. hospitals, education, and work with families. Can you tell us a little bit of, of, of the work that, that you're doing in this regard? Yes, uh, that is in hospitals and in schools. We have many challenges, economical challenges, but we try to serve all these uh, people who are sick, who, uh, who are uh, hopeless, who they, they are may, maybe uh, sad all the time. We try to be uh, this uh, beautiful smile of Saint Therese, you know. Uh, we try to, to live uh, simply, simply with them, Sim with simply uh, this simple life with them. We try. <laughs> you, you mentioned the, the, the simple smile of the, of the little flower of yeah, Saint, Saint Therese, Therese yes. of Lisieux. What attracted you to this particular uh, congregation, sister? What's the story of your vocation? Uh, yes. I was at attracted by white, first of all. <laughs> the habit <laughs> was, was <laughs> nice to you. I want to say that uh, uh, when I was a child, I hate sisters because they were, <laughs> they were very strict with, with us. They beat us, okay? When you were in school? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't like sisters. But, uh, but after, when I feel this call in my, in my heart with Jesus is uh, in a film of Jesus of Nazareth when Jesus, he called Peter. He looked at him and he said to him, don't be afraid, you will be a fisherman. And that in this, I, I, I had 14 years old. I was 14 year, years old and I felt in my heart this is the one this is the one and um, i decide to be with him i don't want to be sister because i don't like sisters <laughs> <laughs> but after when i saw in our parish in uh, sisters in white i like this idea in white <laughs> and uh, um, it seems 13 year, 30 years uh, with Christ in 1988 and I'm so happy and this uh, uh, how we say it this uh, first call I I hear it every day and he give me strength and give me hope and give me joy to serve him and is my life is very beautiful adventure with him that's why I'm so happy. <laughs> and even, you too. even, yeah, even uh, despite all problems, uh, all things, I'm so happy with him because he has ways uh, to uh, he give you this hope, this f joy, this open, open your heart. And I say to, uh, today in the morning, we have a workshop. I said to the young, don't be afraid from Jesus. Open your heart to him. He will give you this joy. He will send you to the world with his joy. Don't be afraid for your weakness. You will be strong with him. And I try to leave it. And he gave me this strength, if you can say it. Definitely. I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try, I try to. No, and we really appreciate <laughs> this effort that you're doing, you. sister. And you indeed look like a very happy nun, yeah, um, a very happy I'm sister. I'm not looking, I'm happy. <laughs> yes, you know, it's interesting what you mentioned that uh, the impact that uh, a film, Jesus yeah. of Nazareth, yeah. had in your life, the importance of media. Jesus, yes, Jesus have many ways, strange ways. 
Yes. And you yourself have worked in media. Yeah, 10 years in radio and TV in Lebanon. TV. And what, what was your experience working with media? It was amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, many, uh, it was uh, uh, many young, they call me live and we speak, spoke to, together and uh, uh, I tried to give them hope and joy and courage in Jesus, I, of course. <laughs> Sister, and what about vocations? How is, how is your congregation doing with, with new vocations? Like all congregations around the world, we don't have a woman uh, vocation. We have a lot of men vocation in orders and priests. But uh, I don't know, maybe there is time Jesus will attract many girls to love him. This is the point. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that with your <laughs> testimony, uh, you, 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 will, you will contribute to this. I live with them, s so simple, and uh, with my um, personality, with my joy, with my hope, and he will attract them. Now, I want to uh, mention something that right. uh, in our previous conversation, preparing our, our interview, you mentioned that, that you had a, a hard time trying to work with... Um, people suffering with addictions. Yes. Um, it was a failed <laughs> experience in my really? life. Really? Why, yeah. why, why was that, sister? Maybe I was so young, I hadn't uh, any passion, 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 passions? Patience. Patience, patience with them. But uh, I said to myself, uh, uh, this is a bad experience, but I want to pray for them. And if someone send me anything that uh, like a cake or thing, I, I send to them. They they're happy. I, I know I know um, uh, ONG. I send always uh, some cake, some. And to they work. They work with with uh, young people suffering yeah, of, of addiction. Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 And I'm praying all time for them. So, but you really focus then in in the formation yeah. of, of the faith of of uh, youngsters. Mm -hmm in the whole area of, of the Middle East. We try, we try. In your experience, sister, the tension between Christians and Muslims in the whole territory has increased. Is it more difficult to have a peaceful uh, coexistence between Christians and Muslims? I'm not a politician, but I know that the uh, simple people, they live together. Um, they have a social life together, but the politician, they, uh, if you want, uh, they put the sorrow and the uh, um, hate in the hearts. That's why I'm I'm praying for the for those all those uh, political men because they need. They need peace in their heart. They need the spirit of God, not the spirit of this word, spirit of hate, of uh, how to say it, uh, to be leader of the world. The money, all this. Well, sister, these are the realities of society and these, these are precisely the challenges that young people have. And uh, Ducat wants to give answers yeah. to all these challenges. What is the content of Ducat? How is it divided? Uh, what, what are the topics yeah. that are uh, included? Yeah. You know, in, uh, we thank our uh, Catholic Church because uh, the Pope, especially the Pope, the Benedict and uh, our uh, love, beloved uh, Francis, they think about a uh, young their problem. And in Dukat there is uh, 12 topics. Um, there is about family, about politic, about, uh, about um, how you say it, uh, environment, about all problems uh, uh, of our youth, M uh, even in relationship, uh, all the, uh, the Dukat try to uh, give some response uh, to this uh, question. Try, try. And if there is not enough 
uh, uh, information, they will go to UCAT. And if there is no uh, enough uh, uh, information, they will go to our Catholic Church. Uh, there is a, a catechism of the, uh, our Catholic Church, the big one. They can do this search if you want. But maybe, maybe the Ducat and Ducat, uh, they solve many problems of uh, youth, many problems. And Ducat Bible, and there is a, a chosen text from the Bible with uh, a little information and uh, yes. How many years has this project? Till 2013. It started in 2013. Yeah, with Pope Benedict. And what has been the reception of, of young people and about it? Is maybe, it maybe in 2011. 2011. 2011. Yes. And we begin to start uh, to, oh, to yes work, work with them in 2013. So, yes. but what is the success of, of, of this, this, this book? People, young people accept it, are yes, interested like in it. it, they receive it? Like it, because it's short qu uh, question, short uh, answers, and, uh, and the information is very clear, and it's not so large, so big. Uh, they like it, and they, they can uh, take it uh, as a pocket, pocket uh, uh, book, if you want. Not long ago, sister, you mentioned that uh, you were involved in uh, preparing some working document that yeah. was presented to to the Holy Father. Yeah. About what specifically the the realities of young people in the Middle East, or what where, where, where was the topic? Yes, actually, in 17, 18, 19, before coming here, we had a meeting for youth, a pre synod to prepare uh, the Synod of uh, Youth. And uh, about uh, our Maronite uh, church, young, uh, all around the world, five, five young from all around the world. Uh, and uh, we were preparing a, a working document and we will send it with our uh, bishop uh, to the Rome about the uh, situation of our young and about uh, uh, all uh, challenges, what, what they want from the Pope. They write it and we will send it. Talking about challenges, uh, Sister, um, have you had the opportunity to work with um, young people that are um, migrants that have to move from their countries because of war, let's say from Syria or Iraq mm -hmm. or, or so many countries, as you said, that that uh, live in conflict. Yes, I work a little bit with Iraqi, uh, Christian Iraqi in Lebanon refugees. Um, we try to help them about m several things, uh, uh, social or uh, many things to to subsist, you know. We try to help them. Are they still strong in their faith after what they have gone through? It's so hard, but we try to give them some hope. Yeah. Sister, uh, how can we help? What would you like our audience to do for, for your, your congregation? They can have help in many, in many ways, in many ways, in prayers, in uh, to, to have an eye to this region, to this um, uh, suffering people, to have, I don't know. Do you think it's important to them to know that people pray for them? That yeah. people are interested in the reality? It's very important. It's very important to, to have a faith all time, despite all these problems, all this uh, weakness, if you want, if it's a hate. Uh, I don't want to finish our conversation without you giving us uh, some sense of hope mm -hmm. because you, you have a lot of hope in with the you. work that, that, that you do, even though the realities are quite difficult. So um, how, how do you maintain that uh, sense of hope? He gave me. He gave me. And 
I have faith and I trust him. I trust in his word. I trust him. That's why I'm strong with him. Even I have my witnesses, my, my uh, uh, how we say it? Um, Limitation. Weakness, yes, weakness. weakness. Yeah. And in my weakness, I'm strong with him. See, sir, thank you so much. Thanks for you. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us in another program of Where God Weeps. If you want to know more about the work that the church is doing in the Middle East and the work that the church is doing with young people around the world, we encourage you to contact the information at the end of this program. Thank you and God bless.